So this is the new Android Auto Cool Walk. I just saw it this morning after updating to the latest Android Auto version. So as you can see, I have opened up Spotify and uh, there's a large window right here with rounded corners. So that's a really beautiful thing. So as you can see, there are rounded corners. Earlier there were square corners, but these rounded corners offer a fresh look and a new look to the Android Auto UI. So also one of the new features is the app bar at the side. So as you can see, there is an app bar and on top you find the mobile network notification, the battery status and the current time. Following that, there are several apps which are supported by Android Auto. On the bottom side, you find the voice control and the main menu option. So this is a really cool interface and I'm really digging it. So let's head back to the home screen and uh, just take a look at the Android Auto home screen right now. So this is the home screen and if I go ahead and click on the settings button. So basically one more important thing which I wanted you guys to know is that the current font which is showing up on the Android Auto screen is the same font which I'm using on my Samsung S22 Ultra. So that gives me a sense of connectivity and that gives me a sense of uh, familiarity when I use the Android Auto because it's the same font which I use in my smartphone. So this is something really good and very neat implemented by Google in their Android Auto. So let's head into the wallpaper section and I'll just go ahead and change the wallpaper a bit. I think I'll keep the mountains wallpaper and if I just head back onto the home screen. Now I think this really looks neat the, all the colorful apps on top of the black dark wallpaper. Now currently I'm not seeing the Google Maps app in the Android Auto and even you might be wondering why is that but, but the thing is guys as far as I have known the Google Maps starts up only if you have Google Maps running on your smartphone and if it's not running on your smartphone and location is not enabled it's not going to start up so let me go ahead and uh, turn on the location in my smartphone and if I go ahead and do that then follow it up by opening up the Google Maps as you can see Google Maps is up and running in my smartphone and it has accurately caught my location but still even right now I cannot see the maps being opened up on my Android Auto home screen so what do I need to do I need to go ahead and disconnect the USB cable so just disconnect it and still keep the Google Maps running on the smartphone then connect the USB cable back to the Avian system so as soon as we do that there you go here is the google Maps screen on my avian system and uh, this is the trick you need to do in order to get google maps on your android auto home screen now this is in a dark mode so let me go ahead and uh, take it into a light mode which is more suited for the particular time right now so let me just scroll down and here is the day night mode for maps so let's click on that and click on the day button and then head back Click on the maps button and here you go here is google maps with my current location pointed out and also the maps has shown up on the right bar section on top as you can see there is a maps button so this is really cool android auto cool walk ui so the one more very interesting feature which i want to show you of the cool walk is that now since google maps has come up you can see a change in the button here earlier there was a menu button here now there is a multi window button pointed out right here so what does this multi window button do if i go ahead and press on that so as you can see two new windows just popped up right there and uh, on the bottom you can see the spotify window and on top you can see the search bar and the search options of the google maps so this is a really cool feature by the cool walk ui now we didn't have this feature earlier and this is something really exciting and i'm really loving this so if i want to make it a two window setup what i need to do is just go ahead and click on the maps and maybe navigate to a certain place so let me just go ahead and navigate to the nearest uh, polar bear ice cream center and i'll click on continue so as you can see the navigation part has started on the google maps and now if i go ahead and press on the multi window button so there you go guys the three window setup has changed into a two window one and on the left you can see the spotify window and on the right you can see the google map setup and both the windows have a rounded corners and also on top of it the spotify window has a slide in so you can slide in for the next playlist and the next song and also you can slide back to the main playing screen now if i go ahead and play the song now it's playing the song but due to copyright issues i won't be able to make you hear the song playing in this particular video but this is a really cool thing to have and this is really exciting and uh, one more thing guys what i need to show is if i go ahead and click on the particular spotify window it is going to open up the spotify in the whole 
large screen setup and if i want to head back onto the google maps if i just click on the multi window button it is going to open up into the google maps window and if i click back on the google map there you go the whole google map screen has popped up so you can have the entire screen dedicated to one app and if you want a split screen appearance you you can go ahead and click on the split screen button and it's going to change the screen to a split screen window so this is really cool and this is something really exciting and this is what i was hoping for from android auto from a long time and finally i have got the change and uh, this is going to make uh, traveling this is going to make driving very much easier and very much convenient and of course the added benefit of the google maps is going to really enhance our driving experience so heading on to the settings of the android auto i just showed you previously most of the options do remain the same and there is not a large change in the settings option which was available before to what the setting options which are available right now and also there's a dedicated voice control button here so let me give you a trial of the voice control if i go ahead and click on the voice control button what is the current time So as you just heard the voice control works flawlessly well and I asked the Google assistant what's the time and it responded properly so this is also something really neat and one more interesting thing to note is that guys in the car in the current Honda WRV which I'm having the driver seat is on the right side and in order to make it convenient the apps are arranged on the right side of the screen which means I don't have to stretch my hand all the way to the left side of the screen in order to control any of the settings or apps i can click on the right side app bar right here and also guys one more interesting thing about the navigation part is that the navigation route is displayed on the left side and the controls and the settings part is again displayed on the right side which means while driving on the right side I, it is very easy for my hand to reach these controls and i don't have to stretch my hand even the slightest bit in order to control any of the aspects of the android auto and also one another cool new feature is the notification bar if i go ahead and click on this time button and the battery button right here so as you can see it opens up a notification window where in currently i don't have any notifications but in case your smartphone does get some notifications or calls or messages it is going to show up right here and you can see the notifications by clicking on the top button right here and there's a close option also so if i go ahead and close that the screen heads back to the google maps also and also if you want you can change the apps by selecting the particular app in the app bar so if i want spotify i can click on spotify here and head into the detailed spotify settings and if i want a multi window right here so heads back into the multi window once i click go ahead and click on the multi window button this so guys this is a really cool and a really amazing feature implemented by google in their latest version of android auto so guys after watching all of this you should tell me what do you think of the new and the latest features from android auto and guys let's go ahead and show you how you can get this in your car and what are the things you need to do in order to get that so guys first of all open up your smartphone and head into the google play store right now i'm clicking on the google play store icon and here as you can see the google play store has opened up just click on the search bar on the top and then type in the words android auto now already typed in so it's going to show up there and right now guys as you can see the top most result and the blue triangle logo so this is the official android auto app just click on the android auto app and here you will get an update button in case if you have not updated the android auto but right now for me it is showing an uninstall button because i have already updated the app so in case you have an update button or enable button go ahead and click on the enable and then follow it up by clicking on the update button so as soon as the android auto updates and installs completely that's it all of the work is done you have the latest android auto running in your smartphone which, which you can later connect it to the car's avian system so just to confirm the version number of the android auto which is running so here you guys just to confirm the version number so here is the version 8.7.63 and it has been updated on 2nd february 2023 so it has been updated this month and this is the latest version available that is 8.7.63 currently in india so make sure you have the latest version of the android auto and once you have that you can go ahead and have fun using the android auto cool walk feature and have some really good and a really amazing driving experience